Ex-government operative Brian Mills is accused of a ruthless murder that he never committed or witnessed, and as he is being pursued, he tries to find the true killer and clear his name. This is my review of Taken 3. Sorry that it took me a little while to get this review up, but here it is guys, my review for Taken 3, the first movie that I saw for 2015 in film, and before I get into my review, I have to give my thoughts about the other two Taken movies, so I thought that um, the first Taken movie was a really great action movie, I thought that Taken 2 was meh for being an action movie, and after seeing Taken 3 with my dad, I thought that Taken 3 was a bad movie. The good points. Truly there are only two things that I liked about this movie, and those two things were two actors, which would be Liam Neeson, who was reprising his role as Brian Mills, and a newcomer to the series who is Forrest Whitaker, and in the movie Forrest Whitaker plays a detective. And Liam Neeson was the main reason I was focusing on this movie, because he made the action scenes almost passable, and I liked the character that he plays, which is Brian Mills. And I've always liked the character of Brian Mills throughout the trilogy. And as for Forrest Whitaker, I thought that Forrest Whitaker did an alright job for what he did in the movie playing a police detective. Even though his character in the movie was the cliche police detective. Just for me, I thought he brought something for this movie. And unfortunately, that's all the good points I can come up with. The bad points. So the two worst things coming out of this movie would have to be the directing and the editing. They're bad as their own separate entities, and they're bad when they're mixed together. But overall, I believe that whoever did the editing in this movie did a terrible job. And I would be shocked if any other movie this year had a worse editing than this movie. But the main reason I hated the editing in this movie, and whoever edited the movie, is because of the action scenes. I'll get to the directing with the action scenes in a second, but the editing, my god, it was like jump cuts like all over the place during these action scenes. I'll give you an example. It would be like a three second shot of Liam Neeson running away, and then a three second shot of a police officer chasing him, then two seconds of Liam Neeson running, then two seconds of the police officer, and then it would go on and on and on, like that. And then all of a sudden it would be like a quick shot of the police officer like raising his gun and shooting, and then it would go on and on like that for a while until the action scene ended. I'm sorry if I didn't explain well like what I just said, but if you saw it for yourself then you would know what I mean. And as for the rest of the movie scenes, I thought that most of them were badly edited because of the fact that the pace seemed off. And once that pace is off, it sort of ruins the movie because it seems like some scenes are going too fast in this movie. And not only was the pacing off during the non-action scenes, but during the action scenes as well, which is another thing I forgot to mention. But as for the directing, like I said, I thought the directing was bad too. And again, most of it had to do with the action scenes. And the funny thing is, I think the director of Taken 3 is the same person that directed Taken 2. And when I compare the action scenes that I did in Taken 2 to the action scenes in Taken 3, it's like, where did he go wrong? Because in Taken 2, he did some shaky cam, but it wasn't like really bad shaky cam. It was like, like going over the place. It was like steady shaky cam when it was just like jiggling a little bit. But in Taken 3, it's like going over the place. And it's like, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? And you know, it's the really annoying shaky cam where you can't really see anything, like any of the action that's going on. But as for the rest of the scenes that he directed, I thought that at least half of them were bad. Because of the fact that, I, I don't know if it was the cinematographer or if the director told the cinematographer to do this. But during these scenes where it doesn't need any moving of the camera, like the camera would move for some odd reason. And that sort of took me out of the movie because once the camera panned just a little bit and showed a different section of this room or something else, it'd be like, oh, is, are they trying to show something? But it's like, no, they're not trying to show anything. And it's like, okay, what's the point of that then? And like I said, when these two elements are mixed together, it is bad. And pretty much all the action scenes are evidence of this. Now, we'll admit that there are three or four small moments in the movie where there's a little bit of good action. But since all the other action is bad and is outweighing anything good about the action, then I think the action is bad in this movie. As for the writing, yeah, I think the writing was bad with the story aspect. I didn't really think you needed to change anything with the character development or anything like that, but the story was like, ugh. And the story, well, 
I don't really think this is a, a spoiler because you sort of noticed at the beginning of the movie, so I'll just say it. But the story for Taken 3 has nothing to do with the other two Taken movies. It has nothing to do with the stories or the antagonists that were in the other two Taken movies. And guess what we get, folks? Your cliche bad guy Russians. And once I found out in the movie that the movie had nothing to do with the other two movies, I was like, oh man, really? That sort of bums me out. Because with the final confrontation that happened with Brian and the antagonist in Taken 2, you would think, oh, like they're going to continue now in Taken 3. And again, once I found out in the movie that that wasn't going to happen, I was like, oh, okay. So this movie is really just a one-off since it has nothing to do with the two other movies. And for it being a one-off, it's a really bad one-off. And it should have sticked with the continuing story of the past two movies. Really, the only other thing you have to say about this movie that was bad that I can come up with off the top of my head is the acting. Like I said, I thought Liam Neeson did a good job, and I thought that Forrest Whitaker did an alright job. But as for the rest of the acting with the cast, I thought that the other cast members were meh or bad. Because with the characters that were already in the series but are coming back for this movie, they didn't add anything to their characters. And as for the new characters that were in this movie for the series, they didn't add anything either. So like I said, I saw some movie with my dad, my dad gives this movie a 2.75 out of 4 stars, and I'll give it a 1 out of 4 stars. I didn't really like this movie, I think this is the worst Taken movie of the trilogy, and I think you'll like it if you're a fan of Liam Neeson movies or um, action movies, I guess. And I do not recommend buying or renting the movie. I think this is the type of movie that you'll like if you see it on TV for the first time. So that was my review for Tekken 3. Hope you guys liked it. And other than that, guys, that's it.